My name is Bill Brown. I'm the division manager of Hosokawa Micron Powder Systems in Summit, New Jersey. What I'd like to demonstrate here is our micropulverizer, high speed hammer and screen mill. This is a size 4, a model 4 SCB. What I'm going to demonstrate here is our new mechanical lifting mechanism for the micropulverizer. Before I begin, I would like to note, make sure your equipment is locked out and tagged out. Also, what I've done for the purpose of this video is I've pre-loosened these eye bolts. So you do need a wrench to loosen these bolts. So swing these eye bolts away. Once the eye bolts are away, we can begin opening by turning the lifting mechanism clockwise. Now we've designed this mechanical lifting mechanism to open fully at 95 degrees. So we have a mechanical stop here on the shaft to ensure that it does not open beyond that point. Okay, it's now in a stop position. What I'm showing here is our rigid rotor assembly. For the size four, we have different variations of rotors. The most common is our LFS, light forged stirred hammers, which provides the finest grind for the hammer and screen mill series. This particular design is our rigid rotor with tipping on the edges, which tends to generate less fines or a coarser par particle size distribution. Also what we have here is we're equipping this mill with the smooth liner, which again provides a coarser distribution as compared to our serrated or multiple deflector liner. This mill is, is the series of this mill ranges from our, our Bantam size UMPB, which is less than one ho uh, horsepower for grinding rotor, upwards of our size 66 mill, our new mill, which is equipped with 300 horsepower. This particular mill, the size four, we equip with either 75 horsepower or 100 horsepower. Now to close it, it's simple, just turning it, rotating the, mechanic, the, the wheel counterclockwise. And just make sure that when you are, before you do close it, make sure the hold down plate is in the proper position so that it doesn't get caught. Now once it's at the fully rest position, then you retighten the eye bolts, of course, with a wrench. And once these eye bolts are tightened, you're able to uh, reattach your feed inlet as, as well as your air inlet in this particular case, and then you could uh, remove the lock and restart the machine.